I'm joined by Hanno Pefko, who is Estonia's defense minister. Mr. Pefko, Mr. Minister, you've just met Germany's uh, defense minister, Christine Lamprecht, for a chat. Of course, the big topic of this week is the fact that Poland has said that Germany should send Patriot systems to Ukraine to defend uh, Ukraine's air space. What is your position on that? Well, we all know that uh, Ukraine needs their defense. It uh, doesn't matter who gives it uh, and when. Uh, so as soon as we can uh, give more uh, air defense to Ukraine, the better it is. And uh, so simple is, is that. So because, uh, but not only air defense, also heavy artillery is much uh, awaited. Uh, it's already better with the uh, winter equipment, winter gears, uh, clothing. But yes, we all know that it's not a, a secret that Ukraine needs their defense. Uh, we have seen how many uh, missiles Russia has launched uh, towards Ukraine. So uh, when there is a possibility to find additional uh, help to Ukraine, it's much awaited. Now, the German defense minister says that it is a NATO decision, that patriots cannot be simply uh, deployed to other countries that would have to be taking that decision within the realm of NATO. You are, of course, a NATO member. What is your position? How are you going to talk to your colleagues within NATO? Are you going to try and persuade Germany to send patriots to Ukraine? Well, uh, as also Minister Lambert said, that this is a decision of the NATO countries and NATO. And uh, we also have to understand that uh, which uh, assets are given to NATO's force structure to defend uh, NATO's uh, uh, territory uh, and which are the assets uh, the governments uh, have their own or, or how they can use their own. Because, for instance, when we take uh, uh, Spain, then Spain decided to send uh, their hawks uh, quite recently, uh, we know that uh, Germany sent uh, their own Iris T. Uh, so this is exactly you know where we have to see that uh, which kind of system is it? Is it uh, w w which is given uh, to to NATO, or is it up to the government uh, itself to decide? So when Patriot is under uh, at the moment from German side in the NATO structure, then uh, it has to be a decision of NATO. But what is Estonia's position within NATO? Well, once again, uh, then uh, we will decide it uh, together with our allies. And uh, one thing we have to remember, uh, that uh, Russia wants to divide us apart. So let's don't do that, that you know, we will play each other against each other. So this is exactly what Russia wants to have. This is exactly, you know, maybe someone wants to achieve that, you know, we are starting to fight that, that who has the more, who has more power. So, so this is something we have to avoid. We have to keep the unity. And this is exactly what we do. When NATO will make a decision, then this decision will be a NATO decision, not that uh, one or uh, the other country will, will decide something different. When we have the option to decide something, as we have said, uh, sent uh, uh, much equipment already to Ukraine and we will do more in coming months and weeks, uh, then this is our decision. When we have to make something together, then this is a NATO decision what we make to together. Germany suggested and offered to Poland that it would send patriots to Poland, but Poland rejected that instead, suggesting that Germany should deploy patriots to Ukraine directly. What do you make of Poland's decision? Well, uh, of course, it's very difficult to exp explain or, or to comment uh, decisions uh, where I have not been participated uh, by doing that or these decisions. So uh, I believe this is uh, up to polls to, this, uh, to, to comment. Uh, when you want, I can comment uh, easily our decisions, what we are sending or we, how we are helping uh, Ukraine. Because once again, I don't want to play different members of NATO against each other. This makes no sense. And this is exactly what Russia wants to have, that we are fighting in, uh, inside of NATO, not that we have one common enemy, and this common enemy is an aggressor, Russia, who is killing today Ukrainian people. Do you get the feeling that the incident on the 16th of November, when missiles landed on Polish territory, was somewhat of a waking wake-up call also to NATO allies saying we do need to strengthen Ukraine's airspace so that we don't get affected? Well, uh, from NATO's perspective, uh, NATO has uh, exercised uh, situations like this, that uh, there might be an accidental or uh, intentional uh, rocket uh, towards NATO. 
So of course we have the plans, of course we have the exercise, uh, exercise the, that kind of uh, situations and scenarios. Uh, regarding the wake up, uh, uh, well for that, once again, we don't need the wake up. We are awake already. We, we see what is going on in Ukraine. And then this is exactly why I said also here today, also in bilateral meeting, and I have said that many times in different meetings that uh, we don't have this, the luxury to, to say that we will stop helping Ukraine or someone will say that there is a war fatigue. Once again, even when you talk about war fatigue, this is in favor of Russia. This is exactly what they want to achieve, that uh, West is not united, that West is uh, talking about the fatigue, that people are uh, tired, etc. No, we are not, at least at the political level. We will help Ukraine as long as needed. And what is your position? What should Germany be doing now? How can Germany help Ukraine more at the moment? Well, uh, I'm very grateful to Germany that uh, they have sent uh, many assets, uh, what they don't have even themselves. Uh, the IRST is the best example of that. So the German uh, army doesn't have IRST at the moment, uh, but they sent this already to, to Ukraine. I know that they, they've uh, taken commitment to send more IRIS uh, to, to Ukraine. And, uh, you know, this, this is exactly what Ukraine needs uh, the most at the moment. Uh, I believe we have done a very good job uh, regarding the winter clothing. Uh, winter clothing is there in Ukraine. More deliveries will be, will be done. Uh, I believe what we can do additionally together uh, is that what one very good example is the military field hospital. We have sent together with Germany two of them uh, to Ukraine. So Estonia produces, uh, Germany uh, finances and, and, and we send it uh, to Ukraine. So basically, you know, when you are asking that what could be done more then uh, every help Ukraine is asking can be done more. So, uh, and, and in that sense, we have the Ramshin format. We have a very good overview of what, is, what are the Ukraine needs. And I'm in constant uh, contact also with Oleksiy Reznikov. So we have the, the very good understanding what, uh, what are the needs of Ukraine. And then we try to fill these gaps and send directly to Ukraine. One last question. When can we expect a NATO decision regarding the systems to help prop up essentially the defense of Ukraine's airspace? Well, uh, I believe that the, these decisions will be finally still made uh, on governmental levels by each country. So, and uh, this helps, and this is more like uh, easiest and, and, and speediest way to help Ukraine. Because uh, in NATO, we still need uh, uh, 30 countries to, to make a decision. It's not an easy decision uh, on the NATO level. And at this very moment, also, the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, has stated many times that uh, the countries are the ones who are helping at the moment Ukraine. And, and, and this is exactly, a, I believe, will also be the, the best next steps how to continue helping Ukraine. Anu Pevko, Defence Minister of Estonia, thank you very much. Thank you very much.